So the independent variables are the flake food, carrots, and strawberries. The dependent variable is the weight of the goldfish. The control variables are the water level in the tank, the amount of light, the room temperature, and amount of food. So for part one of how to conduct the experiment, make sure that you turn on your faucet, um, have a measuring cup handy, and you want to put two and three-fourths cup, um, that's about 650 milliliters of water, into one of the bowls. Um, you want to try to make sure the water is about 65 degrees, roughly. Um, you want to place tanks in the bowls in an open room where the room temperature is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to take three sticky notes and write flake food and place on three individual bowls. Number the bowls. So, like, example would be, like, flake food number one on a sticky note or an index card. Place it on the bowl. And then you want to do this with carrots and the strawberries. And it's really important that you put two drops of prime solution in each bowl. And you want to let um, the bowl just sit with the prime solution in it for about 20 minutes. And then after the 20 minutes is over, you want to start weighing your bowls. Okay, so once you have the water in your bowl, make sure there's no fish. Um, and place your bowl on the scale. And as you can see, it's about 565 grams. So you want to write that down under bowl one. And then you want to take the bowl off of the scale. And if you have your fish somewhere, you want to come grab one. And this can be kind of difficult. So now I have the goldfish in my bowl, and I want to weigh it. Oops, I always make sure it's on zero. Okay, so now it is 570. So you write that down under bowl one, and then to get the actual weight of the goldfish, you subtract 570 from 565. So you get five. So the actual weight of the goldfish is five grams. And um, I made this little chart, and I have it right here just because I thought it would be convenient. And so for weight on day one, flake food number one, I'd write 5 and G for grams. And then I would repeat this step for um, all nine fish and write it down. So for the actual feeding part of the goldfish, you want to place about three really, really thin strips of carrots into the fish bowls that you have labeled as carrots. And you want to repeat this process for 10 days once a day. And then you want to place about three fish flakes uh, into the fish bowls that you have labeled as fish flakes and repeat this process for 10 days as well, once a day. And you want to cut the strawberries into really, really, really small chunks. And then you want to place about three little pieces into the fish bowls that you have labeled strawberries. And you want to repeat this process for 10 days once a day.
to collect and analyze the data, I came up with a chart. And as you can see, um, it has the type of fish food, the weight on day one, the weight on day 10, the difference, and the average. So what you want to do is you want to record the weight on day one and then on day 10, and you want to subtract the difference, and then you want to take the difference of each group and average them, and that's how you'll come up with them, which type of food makes goldfish grow the most. If the fish dies during the experiment, don't worry about it, just analyze why you think it might have died. Fortunately, uh, during my experiment, none of my fish died. From this experiment, I found that flake food and strawberries caused the most, most growth. Um, the average for the flake food growth was about 0.6 grams, and the average strawberry growth was about 0.6 grams as well. Unfortunately, the carrots um, did not really do anything. The fish did not grow, and their average growth was 0 grams. For the flake food, most of the fish uh, grew about 1 gram, and same with the strawberries. So in conclusion, I can say that strawberries and flake food cause the most growth when compared to carrots. I had some difficulties while doing this. Actually weighing the goldfish with the triple beam balance was kind of difficult. It took me a while to figure out how to do everything. Getting the goldfish uh, was kind of difficult. They were like a little bit expensive. Finding the bowls, putting the water, the right amount of water into each bowl was difficult. Um, cutting the food to like the right sizes was difficult. Uh, besides that, I don't think there were any more difficulties. My future research questions would be, would the fish, would the fishes grow at the same rate if they weren't isolated from each other? And, um, would the fish, would the fishes grow more if given a longer period of time? From this experiment, I learned a lot of different things. Um, I learned that working with small animals is really difficult and actually having to weigh them and everything like that is tough. I learned how to acquire facts about goldfish and construct those facts into theories and explanations. I learned, well, through scientific inquiry, I learned how to gather information and organize the data, like through the chart that I did. Um, I also learned that my hypothesis was not correct. Um, and I now understand the connection between theories and evidence. So overall, the experiment showed me a lot of different things and how to do things for next time.